What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. It's been a week since I inoculated um, the tub with Porcini and the Cystus Ladanifer. Um, so I'll flip this around and give you a quick update on that. So you can see that there's definitely some kind of a mold that is growing on the plants. Um, so one of the issues with this experiment is that it's extremely high humidity in the dome, but that's required for the mycelium. So my hopes is that just scaling this up outside would prevent this from occurring. However, I got some DefGuard. It's a bacterial fungicide. So essentially there's bacteria in this container that is going to attack these uh, the mold that's on the plant. So I'm gonna use some q-tips and very carefully inoculate the bacteria fungicide on the plants in hopes that they'll be able to recover so i'll just pop this uh, lid off and go ahead and do that okay guys let's take a peek inside here so right away i noticed that the mycelium from the Boletus edulis is just outgrowing everything, but it looks like this might might be a Botrytis mold or some kind of a powdery mildew, like a plant pathogen. I'm gonna go ahead and implement some of this BioGuard bacteria fungicide. So you can see it's got a lot of the bacteria on it and then I'm just gonna go ahead and try to inoculate this plant the best that I can. It probably would have been a good preventative measure to have this on these plants in the first place. And they're definitely going downhill as far as their health goes. So if you guys have any ideas on how this experiment could be improved upon. Um, definitely comment below, but I'm gonna do my best here to just coat these plants with some of this fungicide. So I think one of the best ways that this whole thing could be performed is if these um, plants were tissue cultured in vitro to start with, and then that way they would be completely sterile. But instead I had to order them from a greenhouse that is filled with plant pathogens. You can see that that one just it doesn't look like it's gonna make it much further, but hopefully there's enough symbiosis between the fungi and the plants that we'll still be able to get some fruits from these porcinis. And if not, we're gonna scale it up outdoor where the plants will have a lot better chance
You can see some of the mycelium coming through the surface at this point, and it looks like it's even myceliated some of that plant, the cystus ladanifer, and you can see plenty of mycelium showing. Alright guys, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these. As you can see, I catered more towards the fungi in this experiment and as a result, the plants were totally consumed by some kind of a botrytis or powdery mildew. Um, I am going to keep you guys updated and this is kind of my last line of defense against this, but um, we're gonna move this experiment outdoor into raised beds and my hope is that there's gonna be a lot more um, airflow and a chance for the plants to you know, really take root where in this experiment, it's catered more towards the fungi. So the um, boletus mycelium is really rigorous. Um, I learned a lot just by doing that for a couple days. I think that the porcini can handle a lot harsher conditions than I thought initially. So um, there's some good news with that. And I'll keep you guys posted. We'll, we'll let it run its course and maybe we'll get some pins or maybe it will be overtaken by this mold. Um, but thanks for subscribing and staying tuned into our channel. Check out our Etsy Fresh Fungi. We're going to be put, putting a lot of new cultures um, over the course of the spring and the summer. So check out our Etsy. We've also got some swag on there and my favorite coffee mug. So um, if you're looking for any mushroom gear or to support your favorite channel, um, check out our Etsy Fresh Fungi. All right, guys, until next time, much love.